Here we go again, it's Colby time. And Colby is yet again crossing the line. It's funny how at the beginning of this week, we have people supporting Colby Covington, and now everybody hates Colby Covington yet again. Colby Covington knows that this is his last chance for the title. He knows how dangerous Leon Edwards is. His trash talks are horrible. He cannot even talk. You know, he's one knockout way from becoming Tito Ortiz. Most guys would leave camp. We'd up to Big Bear and they'd leave camp because they're like, we'd bust on him so hard. Like, we're like, uh, was it uh, Rico Rodriguez? We bust on his balls so hard one time. He was like, that didn't sound right. I never yeah. busted on anybody's <laughs> balls. Yo, this, guy, this guy's got a lot of unique terms since he moved to Florida. First time he's a Huntington Beach bad boy. And he's stuttering all the time. Like, uh, 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 uh. he cannot deliver the lines at all. And his lines is so cringy. Like, it's something that like a 13-year-old kid would say. It's absolutely horrible. People who enjoy Corby Covington's trash talk are low IQ people. Like, if you find this entertaining, you have a low IQ. Let's be real. All of these Kobe Covington fans are either low IQ people or Trump fanatics. Which means the same thing. Like, if you're a Trump fanatic, you're a low IQ person too, so. And these are the same people who are saying that you guys are a bunch of sensitive snowflakes. Because you are complaining about Kobe Covington crossing the line. But at the same time, if you say Trump is horrible trash, they lose their fucking minds. They are even worse than these blue-haired left lunatics. They are the same people. Anyway, Colby Covington crossing the line really reminds me of Conor McGregor versus Dustin Poirier in the third fight. If you guys haven't watched my previous videos, I predicted Dustin Poirier to finish Conor McGregor in the second fight and in the third fight. You know, and my explanation was that he was getting too desperate, especially in the third fight. In the third fight, he was calling out Dustin Poirier's wife, basically calling her a whore and stuff like that, because he knew that he's gonna lose to Dustin Poirier. He knew that he's gonna lose, so his only thing that he can do to beat him is to talk about his family member, you know, and what happened? Dustin Poirier beat the shit out of him. As expected. And I think that the same thing is going to happen with Kobe Covington. Kobe Covington knows how dangerous Leon is. Leon beat Usman twice. Kobe lost to Usman twice. Kobe has nothing else going on except his wrestling and gas tank. Meanwhile, Leon is better grappler, better striker, better at footwork, clinch work, in every which way except wrestling and stamina. That's it. Plus, Leon is bigger he was bigger than Usman, he has longer reach than Colby Covington, and he's way taller. This is not gonna be good for Colby Covington at all. At all. Now, we saw Colby Covington getting the reaction out of Leon Edwards, and we have never seen Leon like this, ever. Leon threw the water bottle at Colby Covington, and he stood up, and he couldn't sit. Like, he really wanted to kill Colby Covington right there. And he just was pacing back and forth, super angry. Like, I never seen Leon like that. But what I was waiting for was the post face off interview. So, after that press conference and the face offs, Leon did the interview and he was cool, calm, collective. Let's take a listen. Have you had experiences like this before with opponents where they are trying to emotionally wreck you before they face you physically? Um, it's not emotionally wrecking me. I think it's more motivation, you know, like, um, I, I, I don't see how, how, how it wrecks me, you know, I, I am, when it's time to compete, I am cold in there and I listen to my coaches and I'm, I'm a smart fighter anyway. I know that you want to come out there and swing and get into a scrap with him, but I, I am a smart fighter. It made me more determined, you know, and made me more, um, want to be more aggressive, but apart from that, I'll, I'll set my game plan and, and do it. Let's talk about the... So as you guys have saw... Leon has calmed down and he's like killer. Like he's like has that extra motivation and anger. But he knows that you're not gonna make me do dumb shit, you know? But I'm gonna kill you. Like this really reminds me of John Jones because John Jones is more uh, than a fighter. Like he's a killer. Like he's cold body killer. Like 
even when he was fighting against DC, remember the press conferences and face-offs and fights that he had with DC? What happened when he steps in a cage? He was cool, calm, collective. And I think the same thing is going to happen with Leon. I think Leon now has that extra energy, extra oomph to really beat the shit out of Colby. Like he's going to hurt Colby so bad. I, I think this is not good for Colby. <laughs> Like, I had Leon Edwards winning before the press conference, but now I really have Leon Edwards winning this fight. And I think Leon Edwards gonna beat Kobe Covington brutally. Because that was the biggest problem with Leon, is that he just gets too comfortable. Remember the Nate Diaz fight? Got too comfortable. He could finish Nate Diaz in any round, but he just coasted. But this time it's gonna be different. Now he's gonna have more output and now he's gonna be more violent. We're gonna see a great fight, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna see a very, very great fight. And remember, Kobe Kavita has been dropped in every fight since he fought against Kamaru Usman. Even Josh Masvidal dropped Kobe Kavita. Kobe is gonna get brutally finished. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this. Do you think that Kobe is gonna win? Or do you think that Leon is gonna win? Click the subscribe button if you guys haven't liked this video. If you like, stay safe, stay healthy, and don't cross the line if you don't wanna get brutally beaten.